listen to the echo told it trying to find a way to get away from me when we're on that inspirational kick we must be messed up come on we all know at least a fist up hi makeup junkies welcome to my channel my name is Ariella, and i'm gonna be creating a nice summery glowy more kind of naturalist type of look even though we do have the lashes on but the lashes are optional you don't have to use them if you don't want to you can do it with or without lashes just wanted to do a little bit glam natural look that you can make or you can do in the summertime or whenever you want to um so if you want to keep watching to see how i did this look just keep on watching Alrighty. So to begin this makeup look, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I'm just going to be working that around like the area, like the problem areas of my face, usually like underneath my eyes, cheeks, and forehead. After uh, we've prepped the face, I'm going to go into the Painterly Pink Pot by MAC. And I'm going to set my eyes for eyeshadow. Alright, so after I prime my face and set my eyes, I'm also going to do my brows. And I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Stylist Brow Definer. Like almost comparable to the Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is also amazing. Um, but I found this to be a lot cheaper and it's right there in the drugstore. I got it from Target. So I was like, you know what, let me give this a try. So I'm going to put this on my brows. And I used to like to use the spoolie first to kind of like get my brow hairs all in like one direction so it's like not all over the place. So after I've done that, I'm going to start putting product. And I like to focus mainly on the outer part of my brows and kind of just like work it out there my way towards the front with less product towards the front so it doesn't seem so dark all around so I just kind of like mainly you know fill it in light strokes so you can kind of work your way on like how dark and defined you want it I mean we're gonna clean it up anyways with concealer I'm going to go in with the NYX um, HD Concealer, which is also amazing. It's an amazing concealer, also pretty affordable. That onto a, like a flat top kind of brush. And you just want to kind of clean up those areas. You want to clean underneath your brows too to give it, you know, that sleek, fierce brow look. Now we're going to move on to foundation. Um, I am going to be using the Milani 2-in-1 2-in-1 foundation and concealer in the shade Sand. sure it's like all over nice and blended after we set our foundation now we're going to go into eyeshadow so i'm going to be using the morphe 35f um palette um i think it just came out not that long ago and i absolutely love the colors look at all these shades they're so pretty um i love it it's good for like a nice like daytime look and nighttime look it's perfect palette and i love morphe shadows i feel like you can, there's so many shadows in one palette. It's definitely worth the money. I'm going to just kind of, to set this eye primer, I'm just going to use kind of like a neutral shade first in a blend, on a blending brush. And I'm using the Sigma E35 brush. And I'm just going to be using like this color right here to kind of set everything first before I start doing my actual eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using this um, shade right here. And just kind of like, blend that all out on my cream precision brush this um, buff and blend brush by Sigma this E39 brush I'm gonna go in with this color right here 
it's right next to the black color and I'm just gonna work that mainly on my outer um, eye let me use this to kind of put that in you don't have to be perfect with it I'm not perfect when it comes to doing my eyeshadow honestly you just kind of want to buff and blend that underneath where we put on that other eyeshadow I'm blending another blending brush just kind of buff everything out blend away there's no harsh lines all right so I'm also going to use a flat brush to kind of um bring out my eyebrows this shade right here this whitish shimmery shade from the morphe palette take some of that off. in my e32 and I would like to put that right underneath there. And it's such a pretty color. Okay, so now we can do kind of like the lid color. I can go in with this color right here. It's like the third, second shade from the white. And you just want to use like a regular flat top brush. Oh, it's such a pretty color. You just want to pack that on your lid. Pick up this shade right here. Two down from the white. One blend, blend them all so they're all seamlessly in one. I go in with the concealer now. Again, the NYX HD concealer, and we're gonna highlight underneath our eyes. After that's like all blended away, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is bomb diggity. And I'm going to go in with these two shades right here, which are Lyric and Levitation. Kind of just mix them in kind of like a buffer type of brush. So just mix these colors. Kind of just kind of just put the excess um, on the areas we put concealer but don't worry we're going to use um, translucent powder to um, set everything. The Laura Mercier translucent powder and this is awesome to set your makeup so it can stay all night all day long. I like to go in with like this type of brush to kind of like start putting it around. So back into the shade and light palette i am going to be using this shade first to contour which is shadow play and then um go in deeper with subconscious so i'll show you how i do that i get one of these brushes i'm going in with this and i get like some powder on it and then i like tap off the excess <laughs> and i like to use that right the hollows of my cheekbone so you want to guide that and so I use it on my cheeks and then I put it a little bit on my chin area. Forehead. Alright, so let's dust off this translucent powder and I'm going to be going in with the Morphe M438 brush to dust off the excess. So dust off. We're going to go in to darken up that contour a little bit using the same brush and we're going to use subconscious again or start to use subconscious because we haven't even used it yet and put that kind of like more concentrate on this area of the contour. We kind of want to do some translucent powder to soften up that contour line. So kind of just put some translucent powder on where underneath that contour for the nose area so to do that brush kind of a pointed flat brush 
And this one's from like Coastal Scents, I believe, or BH Cosmetics. I can't remember. It's a contour my nose. And I'm going to go in with Shadow Play again. I'm kind of this contour. And just kind of like follow the shape of your nose. Going with blush, and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Ombre blush called My Tai Buy You a Drink. As you can see, it's such a pretty, like, natural type of blush. So let's dust this powder away that's underneath our contour. Okay, we want to kind of, um, buff off this contour make it blend in more so there's like no harsh lines you don't want to go like too heavy on the brush just kind of like lightly sweep it away back to the brows set that with um the anastasia um clear brow gel let's put that on the top those brows in place right next to the white on the Morphe palette and just kind of like put that underneath my eye. kind of want to do another color here on the bottom lashes. So I'm going to use this color all the way in the far right underneath of that white color that is beautiful and um, in my inner corner. So I want to put some here. Make that pop a little bit. First, I'm going to be using the NYC Liquid Liner in black. One of the best liquid liners. Ever since I tried it, I'm like, I never go back to what I used to use. Because <laughs> it used to be terrible. Huh? And that is one eyeliner. Eyeliner can be such like a pain in the ass sometimes. Sometimes it comes out perfect some days it just it's a bitch it's a bitch all right so my camera decided it wanted to die so um i already put the mascara on and i actually just put um lashes on as well i'm using the um coco goddess lashes um goddess lashes they're amazing lashes they're affordable um and i love them i love the way they look they're so gorgeous and they're semi-natural I like them so all right now that we're done with like our face let's get to our highlights so I'm going to be using kind of like a fan brush and this Anastasia Beverly Hills 23 brush fix setting spray on it to make that eyeshadow pop because you want it to pop girl yeah. all right so I'm going to be using for highlight the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and I'm going to be using these two shades right here, Starburst and Hard Candy. And I'm going to be mixing them together. So using the uh, 23 brush, and just pop that right there. On your highest point of the cheeks. Also gonna be using this Joe highlighter too in Seashell. I believe this was like a limited edition type of color, but I'm just gonna be kind of placing that on top of that highlight that I just put on. Woohoo! Let's go on to the lips now. I am going to be using the L'Oreal color shade and fair nude awesome color. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Alright, so that completes our makeup look. Now let's make sure this makeup lasts all day. Pixie makeup mist. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face and let it set. Let it sink. Let the mist sink a little bit. Oh, it's so refreshing. It smells so good. Alright, everyone. So this completes the final look.
I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you want to see more looks like this, let me know. Let me know what other looks you would like to see. I really enjoyed creating this. Um, I'm new here on YouTube's channel, so show me some love. And if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like it or other videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Can we just